Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back. To move the hose around before I get started. If I don't do it now, I'll forget about it and everything will get flooded. Oh, the turkeys are talking to us. Like you came outside and didn't bring me food. <laughs> just set up here and we can see each other mm. and so the cat's been sitting here I don't want to sit on that I'm gross <laughs> so books so today I thought I would share with you guys just how I transitioned from being more of a city girl to a homesteader. I know that there's a lot of people transitioning into that lifestyle right now, into the homesteading lifestyle, and I just love it. I think it's great. I think if we could all be a bit more self-sufficient, then we might not be in the situations of the world that we're in right now. So when I first got started, I had no idea what I was doing, but thankfully I had my husband who grew up out in the country and knew, you know, some of the ropes to help teach me. And then I had my sister-in-law who helped me get on board with homeschooling and things like that, which is for a whole new video. But that is also part of homesteading and homeschooling, being self-sufficient, things like that. I would call it getting out of the matrix, but we won't go that far. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna share with you guys like my stack of books that I keep out on like the desks and dressers and things all around my house so that I can always go and grab them anytime that I need. And these books have helped me not have to go to the pediatrician more with my kids. They've helped me to know you know, when to plant, how to plant my seeds, or, you know, if one of my plants has had a disease, what's wrong with my plant? Do I need to give it more water, less water? Um, do I need to feed it? Things like that. All of those sorts of things, these books has, have helped me. I definitely, sorry guys, I've definitely used the internet a lot too, but I think that we need to always have books on hand because if the internet is not there at some point, we at least have the books. All right, so first and foremost, I have Keeping a Family Cow. I ordered this book from Azure Standard. You can get this book, I think on Amazon too. You can, I th you can, get, you can get all of these books on Amazon. Um, but this one I got from Azure. I have not read this entire book just because I have read through parts of it, but I haven't read the whole thing because I decided to get goats instead of a milk cow just for the time being, like the situation that we're in, we're in a rental right now, we don't own. And so goats are smaller, they're easier to maintain, easier to take when we do find the homestead of our dreams. So I'm going to go the easier, less maintenance route, but this book is great for those of you that want to get a milk cow. I would say get this book and read it before you get the milk cow. Okay, the next up is, so let's see, well, let's do this book for gardening before we get into the doctor books and things. So. The Four Season Food Gardening. How to Grow Vegetables, Fruits, and Herbs All Year Round. Um, this is a newer book, but I have used it a lot since getting it. And it's really helpful to know, like, it tells you when to plant things, how to plant them, how deep, and if you can grow them during the winter even it helps tell you what plants to sow in between your other plants so that you can get the most out of the space that you have which has been something that has been really helpful for me and it's really helped show me that I can plant closer together or if I do plant them you know spaced out 
I can plant in between them and get more and that's what we want we want to get as much as we possibly can in the growing season get this book it'll help you with all sorts of things and this and it just it's a good one to have on hand okay this you might not think about this book but you're going to want this book cure tooth decay heal and prevent cavities with nutrition Sorry guys, I thought my camera went off. <laughs> um, it is incredibly important because you're gonna want to know how to take care of your teeth if, let's say the dentist isn't around anymore or you know, like at the beginning of COVID, it was very hard to get into the dentist and they had lots of rules and restrictions and if you had to have surgery for it or anything like that, it was backed up. You know, the beginning of COVID was just a mess and still is kind of a mess. So learn how to take care of your teeth kind of before it gets too too late to where you have to have a dentist pull, rip them out, if it, you know, anything like that. It's best to prevent those things from happening. So that book is a great book. Do herbal antivirals. I think this is a very popular book. I think a lot of people know about it. I have used a few of the recipes in this book not a bunch of them, but there is a wealth of knowledge in this book that if I needed, if I needed to go to the doctor for let's say an antibiotic, which aren't good for you anyway, I could come to this book more than likely and just make it myself. Now with that being said, you're gonna wanna like pre-read, you know, a lot of your books that you get before you need them because they'll tell you what ingredients you need to make like the tinctures or the teas or anything you know the salves see what they call their protocol is for that illness and get those ingredients on hand so that when the time comes you already have them and you don't have to rush or order them and wait and things like that so this is a really good one for that this I learned about this from the podcast um, Wise Traditions, the Wise Traditions podcast. I believe it's what it's called. It's a really good podcast and I really like it. Um, it's the Nourishing Traditions book of baby and child care. So I don't agree with everything in this book, which is totally fine. I don't have to agree with everyone on what they say and do and how they believe. That's totally fine. What I really wanted this book for was one, the GAPS diet, and then two, they have the raw milk um, formula, baby formula recipe in here that I used for my daughter. So I wanted to get this book for that and make sure that I just always had it on hand in case we end up having more children and we're not able to get formula i'll at least have this and i'm getting ready to get goats in a couple weeks and so i'm going to have the raw milk to make that if you don't have a goat or cat milk cow i would suggest becoming friends with you know a local dairy farmer or find friends you know maybe in Facebook groups or something in your area that do have raw milk available to them and make connections with them so that you know when push comes to shove and things happen you can go to those people and be like I can trade you for this so that you have those resources available to you if you can't have them yourself so I was going to look for the recipe in here, but you guys can just get this book and have it yourself. Okay, these next three books go hand in hand pretty much together, but these three are by far my most used books in my house when it comes to healthcare. And they are the Rachel Weaver's Be Your Own Doctor. So I have the Be Your Child's Pediatrician, 
be your own doctor and then be your own doctor too. They all go together basically and you do want to have all three of them. Now I had just this one for the longest time. These are not these books I think they run like $30 a piece and they're well worth the $30. You want to get them. And so I think I just started this book with this book and it took me far beyond what I thought it would. This book has all kinds of, you know, healing, even cold sores or chicken pox. Um, if your appendix ruptures, even things as for ADD, you can treat with nutrition. Things that the doctors won't tell you you can do because then you wouldn't need them. So they wouldn't make as much money as they do. <laughs> Um, if your child gets into the cleaning products under your sink and they have poisoning, this book will help tell you what to do. Staph infections, you know, all bru even bruises, burns, all the things, actually I'm going to leave that open, um, is in this book. So if you have children or even if you, you know, I would say gift this to someone who has children and, um, you're gonna be amazed as to what is in this book. The next one is Be Your Own Doctor. Obviously you can tell I use this one a lot too. I use this one for the kids too, um, not just Be Your Own Pediatrician. And this has just an extended version of Be Your Own Pediatrician. And then this one is another extended version of Be Your Own Doctor. Um, there's just such great things in here. I really can't say enough about these books. Anytime I talk to somebody and, you know, people are, people are very curious as to how I got on my home setting journey. Because if you've followed me on social media, you know, for any length of time, especially Facebook, <laughs> which I don't use very much anymore, I use Instagram. But if you have, you know, been on my social media for any length of time, you know that I used to be the whole into all the makeup and all the the glam things which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that i still love bits and pieces of that but you know just god has helped change my outlook of where i should be in life and so this is how i've that's how i've gotten on this journey was through praying about it and then educating myself on how to get started on homesteading and I think that might be what intimidates people the most is they just don't know where to start and so if I were you I would start by ordering books like actual physical copies of books to have on hand hopefully that truck's not too loud for you guys and then I would also, uh, next I would go out and find the Facebook groups in your area of homesteaders and I would make friends. Because if you can learn face to face with somebody who's been doing it for longer, that's even better. Getting your hands in there and dirty, that's even better. But I, I would also say don't let don't let not having the materials or the space to homestead stop you from learning about gardening and how to take care of your family, your family's health and things like that. If you are even in an apartment, I would still order these books and I would still start learning as I was saving to rent or buy the property that I could in order to live out these ways. So yeah, don't don't uh, don't let not being in the right spot at this time discourage you from living your potential. I guess I would say. Okay, so I wanted to share these books with you, and I will link them down below. If, 
um, I hope I can find them all. Some of them I had for a few years, but if I can find them all, I'll link them all down below for you so you can just go and click the tab and shop for them. And I hope this was helpful to some of you. And I hope to see you guys all on your home setting journeys too. If you're on Instagram, go over and follow me on Instagram. I have the same name on YouTube as I do on Instagram. It's Megan.homesteading. Um, and I would love to connect with you more over there. I'm more personal over there and I'm on there much more throughout the day in stories. So it's really fun to be over there with you guys too. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I will chat with you guys in my next video. Bye.